Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a huge box to open. And this is from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. Look at the size of this. It's huge. And it's just been delivered today. And I already ordered it the day before yesterday. So it's come within two days, which is excellent. Uh, and I got a free gift as well, which is why I put the order in. Yay! We like free gifts. <laughs> So this box is absolutely huge just for a couple of little items so that is my free gift would you believe and i did also get 15 percent off as well using one of my friends uh, codes so if you do want a code let me know in the comments down below or send me a, an email and i can send you a code that will hopefully get you 15 percent off they are just one time only use codes though you can only use your code once though, so once you've used it once, unfortunately you can't use it again, but it's still a good offer. Right, well, we've got a few things here. Um, I'll just quickly show you these because they're uh, just sort of like staples, essentials that I use a lot of. I've got a two pack of the Crystal Art Sealer. Um, if you've seen my sealing videos, you'll know I use this all the time. And rather than buying the big bottle again this time, I got the pack of the two smaller ones, though it was cheaper to buy two small at the same time rather than buying them separately. And I do prefer the smaller ones because you can get into the jar easier. I found it a little bit difficult getting into the bottom of the big one. I suppose really I could save one of the containers for the small ones and just keep topping it up. There's an idea. I do have good ideas sometimes. <laughs> but I need an empty one of those now, so I'll have to... Uh, remember that so that's just a two pack of sealer and then they have got a new one which is the shimmer sealer and this has like little bits of glue in it and I was a bit mm, don't know whether I fancy that or not because I do like the fact that the, the um, sealer it goes completely clear when you put it on so it doesn't affect the drills at all but then I thought well maybe like doing a, a project like this one not sure whether it's got AB gems in it or not, we'll have to have a look. But if it was just plain white gems, it may be quite nice to put some sparkle and add the shimmer sealer so that you get like the little bit of glitter in it. Might make it a little bit sort of AB Aurora Borealis, just give it like a, a bit of a coating, a bit of a sparkle. So I'm going to have a play about with this one and I'll maybe do some videos and we'll have a bit of an experiment. But yeah, it's a little bit more than the standard sealer. Uh, but I, yeah, I just wanted it so that I could have a play and see what it's like. You know what I mean? I like to try things. I like to play. Okay. And then I'll show you my free gift, which is always nice to get a free gift. This was, if you spent over £50, and... Um, then you get free postage or free shipping in the UK if you spend over £35, which if I'm wanting anything from Craft Buddy, I always save everything up. Um, and then do an order, a bigger order, so that I get my free postage. And then this time they had a special one that if you spent, as I say, over £50, you got a free little 30 storage container, which, you know me, I do like my storage. And these are a really good quality one. On the... Oops, I got this back. Okay, on the website, these are £15.99. Uh, they do come branded with the Craft Buddy Crystal Art uh, DIY Crystal Art kit on the top and a nice purple and black colour. You've got your little carry handle, which is always nice, and this one has the grip on it as well. Some of the others that I've bought um, at a cheaper price don't have the grip on them. On them. They are just like a, a bit of uh, just your ribbed material. Okay, and then you've got your double zips, which is really good. We like double zips. Uh, your little netted pouch at the top and then your 30 little balls and they're the good ones because it's got the plastic uh, the hard plastic um, like drum of the bottles but the tops are the squidgy plastic so they don't make you know when you get hard plastic on hard plastic it squeaks when you seal them up ah like nails down a the blackboard these are the um, sort of soft plastics that doesn't do that and these hold between um, 14 and 1600 drills comfortably so it's between about seven and eight of your little 200 packs uh, if you do get any of those 
that it'll hold comfortably so yeah always up for storage and you do get your little labels as well with it so yeah thank you very much craft buddy that's yeah. like a lovely little free gift uh, i think the offer is still on it was certainly on today when i looked but obviously that's when i'm making the video so maybe just double check before you order but yeah to spend 50 pound and then get something worth 14.99 free always up for a bargain right so let's have a look at this one we'll put this one down here for now okay looks like this one's been opened so hmm it's got a seal on it i've not seen that before actually we've got a little craft buddy sticker there if i can get it off Ooh, yes we can let's add it to my desk with all my other little stickers there you are we've got a craft buddy sticker on my desk now <laughs> how old am i i know uh, let me just open these sides because it's stuck at the sides. Okay, it looks like it's trying to burst out this one. And it's one of my little 3D buildable scenes. And I have had these in the past. I've had the Peter Rabbit one. Um, I'm trying to think which was the other one. I had the Easter one. Oh, was that the Peter Rabbit one? And then I've got the animal one, the jungle animal one to do. So they always come really nicely packaged, these. And really sort of like good giftable boxes you know if you were giving somebody a present this looks really really good gives you all your description and everything on there and you've got your little snow couple and actually this is bigger than i was expecting as well so uh yeah you get oh this is just this isn't a craft buddy kit this is just a standard old kit um so it's got a few grip seal bags that doesn't look as though they usually give you 20 that doesn't look as though there's 20 there little square of um mm, that's the pink wax and then just a pink pen with no multiplaces so that's a little bit disappointing to be fair because craft buddy usually do a little bit better toolkit than that okay but these are your pieces for your little kit all right okay so you get your leaflet telling you how to diamond paint in four different languages tells you what you get in your kit there as well so if you're giving it to somebody who's not diamond painted before this is a little uh, instructions okay. and then this is all a little scene that builds up and uh, goes and stands that's not a very good description is it Liz? but you know what i mean <laughs> to be honest I was put off buying this. This came out last year and I was put off buying it because I felt as though there was too much white on it and it just looked a bit plain. Um, but then I've reconsidered and decided I'm going to give it a go. So let's see where these fit in. As you can see, you get your pieces. You've got your nice little sort of hook there. I think with the hook just being sort of like, it's all brown, so it's all one colour here. And then it's all one colour on the roof. But you have got different colours um you've got some larger gems there and we've got different colour coming out the chimney and a little bit different colours so I think we should be okay okay so that's your little house so I wonder which way around this goes so if that goes in there that hasn't got a thing there have a look unless it goes the other way uh, oh I see okay so let's see ah right so yeah what you're doing is you've got all these in separate pieces and then it builds up to make a like a little 3d scene so that's your little house so i think that one goes in there okay i would always diamond paint these first as well before you put them all together we've got your beautiful christmas tree that really is quite stunning and i think once it's got all its decoration on that'll be very very pretty and i think that one goes at the back there okay so that one's going to slot in there i'll just loosely put it. that's a shame actually that that's so big i think that would be any better smaller wouldn't it so it's not covering the tree quite so much i wonder if you can swap those round suppose you could oh no because then that's too big to go in there that's a shame that's a shame let's see it wasn't the favorite one that i wanted but i just decided i'm gonna have a go because i want to have a play and i will probably bling it up but 
thinking about it now, I think I'll use the crystal shimmer on it and see where we are. You've then got your two pieces of this. So there's one there and one there, yep. Yeah. So they go there. Is that the wrong way around? Possibly I've got those the wrong way around. Yeah, that one goes there so it doesn't overlap too much at that side. I'll be, that's a bit smaller. No, it must go the other way around. Talk amongst yourselves while I just have a play. <laughs> so that's like your snow drifts. We've got, oh, can't pick it up, your little bag of parcels that go in the front there. So sometimes they're a little tricky to get in. Uh, the best way to do it is sort of like work from a side and pop them in that way. And then this one will just go in there like that. So that then becomes your 3D scene. Yeah, it's a shame the way that they've done the tree. I think I'm going to have to move the tree. I can maybe use some blue tack or some something just to move the tree slightly to the side because it's such a pretty tree you need to see a bit more of that tree don't you that house is just too big but i suppose they couldn't move the house any further that way should have been a bit smaller but yeah so yeah i can always just move the tree slightly it won't matter um you know it's still going to be sort of like sat flat as it were okay Right, now then, the thing with these is that the design is actually printed um, on the back of the acrylic. And when that happens, I don't know if you, the camera can pick it up, let's see if we can sort of get it, yeah. You can see you've got here your acrylic. What actually then happens is you get a different perspective depending on how you look down on the um, key code on the bottom. So if you're working slightly at an angle and you think you're putting your gems exactly on um, your canvas on top of the letters, when you then stand it up at a different angle, you're then looking down and you find that your drills aren't in the right places so it's one of those where i've mentioned it uh, in the past that i said when i got one i would show you the difference because some of them the actual uh, they're a little bit either thinner acrylic or the design is on top of the acrylic on this side and then it's easy to do just like a normal canvas but when you get them where the actual sort of like keys and um, the letters and everything are printed on the back of the acrylic because of that sort of like 3d perspective as it were it does make it that little bit more difficult to do uh, and so the first time i did something like this it just drove me mad because every time i moved it it looked like i'd not lined the drills up properly and you really do with these have to go in from the top and put the drills directly over you can't work at any angle whatsoever and you're better off because as I tend to work where I'll turn it round. So I'll maybe do these here and then I'll turn it round and do these. And because I'm then doing these, I look at those and I think, well, none of those are lined up. So, yeah, you do need to work sort of on a flat surface with these and do them from above. Just a little tip that I've learnt uh, as I've gone along really with uh, doing various things you find that with key rings as well but obviously there's not quite so many drills on those it's when you're working on something as big as this and you get all your drills all nicely lined up or so you think and then you tilt it in a different direction and because of the um aspect of it you sort of like you can see all the letters underneath again uh, so yeah it's not really my favorite way of uh, how they do things with that one but anyway it is pretty and um, i don't like Gosh, it's difficult to pick up. I do like the little snowman as well. So the tree is lovely. So let's just have a look at the drills. I'll put those back in there for now. It is single sided as well. There's uh, no drills or anything on the back. So you just do get the one sided perspective of it. But the drills look very sparkly and 
but they do tend to do their charting and the drills really well. Okay, I can see some snowflakes, which I do like the snowflakes. I've got some of these left from one I did last year. I like their little pearly coated snowflakes. Very, very pretty. Okay. And let's have a look at these. They're all special drills and gems from what I can see. So our gems are, we've got black, plain black re resin drills and they are resin drills as well. Uh, Craft Buddy always do the resin. Uh, we've got like a cherry red, your 310 standard black drill there. That's like a bronzy colour, that's pretty. It's like a ready bronzy colour. Um, your standard silvers and then a lovely Christmassy green. Okay. And then we're on to a little bit paler green, a nice Christmassy gold that's got quite a few of the greens have joined it there. Uh, a blue and an aqua blue and a very pale green. And we're calling hot pink here and another pink. And then, oh right, so all the white is actually AB coated. Ah, now then, that's going to make it different. Hmm, so do we use the sparkle shimmer on the AB coating or not? Might have to just try a few first because I don't want to dull that coating. They're already sparkly, so I don't want to dull it. Uh, oh, we've got some of the like twinklers, which are AB coated the silver. Rather than it just being the normal silver, you've got like a extra coating on it, which just really makes it iridescent and sparkle a little bit more. And then another red there, the little stars. And oh look, squares, little square amber colour, some of your half sphere little pearls there and they've got a coating on them, an AB coating. And then we've got blue, green and red that are all just like a half sphere and there's no facets on them, nice Christmas colours. And then we've got a larger like red there, like a cabochon and then we have some of those little like pearls with the star stamped into them and they have got an AB coating, an iridescent coating on them as well. So the gems are lovely, very very pretty. So I like those, just have to wait and see how that comes out as I say with it being the um, acrylic and with it, with it being the acrylic and having the letters on the bottom of it. Oh, I've missed those out. Don't lose the snowflakes. Don't the snowflakes. Right, so I've got that out of the way over there. And then, this is the reason why I put the order in in the first place. Let's see if we can get into it. Do you know, I just looked at my camera then and thought, am I filming or not? <laughs> I just had this awful thought that I'd forgotten to press record. <laughs> because I can never remember what I've said. If I did two videos, you'd get two totally different videos. Right, so this is the new Christmas basket. Uh, if you remember in summer uh, for my mum's wedding and, and dad's uh, 65th wedding anniversary, I did actually do a flower basket. It. Well, this is the Christmas basket, so I may do them this one as their Christmas card. It's quite pretty, and they're like a decoration and a card all in one. <gasps> Look at the size of that, that's wonderful. Okay, this one has just recently been launched. This is one of the new ones. So let's have a look. Don't you think it's good of me leaving the one that I really wanted to open first till last? <laughs> okay, oh, it's a hanging one because we've got the two little holes there for the hangers. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So you've got your weave on your basket here and believe me, this comes out really well. The one on the summer flower one is just great. It really does look like a basket. We've got your pine cones here. We've got your poinsettia here as well and we've got all your ferns in different colours. I love this blue colour. 
Uh, we've got some holly with the holly berries. We've got presents and bells and a robin. What more Christmassy could it be? A candy cane. That's what more Christmassy it could be. <laughs> so now then this one, if you can see, the pattern. Oh, it's got a funny yeah, yellow mark on the back there. Look, I wonder what's happened there. How strange. Doesn't show on this side. This one, the uh, codes, the letters are actually on top of the acrylic. So you don't get that funny perspective thing. I wonder if you can see the difference. Let me just uh, see whether you can see that or not. I don't think it will show so that one yeah you can see it's on the bottom so you get like a funny skewed view of the letters underneath whereas the, it looks like these are the newer ones then that they're starting to do and they're putting the pattern on top so the letters stay yeah you could sort you can sort of see it so you're not getting that see-through bit of seeing the letters through because the back is totally clear and it's just on that side. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, so it's just something that I've learned as I've been doing these various different things. And uh, It tends to happen if you get double-sided ones, you're always going to have something on one side that's like this where it's printed on top. And then the other side, because obviously they don't print it both on both sides, is going to have it where it's printed actually on the back. So you're working onto the front, actually looking at the back. Okay, any comments or questions, let me know and I'll try and answer them. But I think maybe we'll have a go at doing this one and this one together. I'll try and do um, a whip and chat or something and do these and show you. Uh, what a difference it can make. I think that's probably the best way to try and explain it. Okay, so we've actually then got a little leaflet in there. This one actually has uh, six different languages on it. So I've obviously expanded out a little bit more and uh, telling you all about how to diamond paint. Uh, you get a little key code with this one as well, with the DMC codes on. So if you're wanting to keep your gems or drills, then you have got little code numbers to use for them. Very, very useful because I do keep mine. And you get one of the better toolkits. Let's say that's the difference uh, a year makes, I suppose. That's last Christmas and this is this Christmas. So they are moving on and doing very well. Okay, you get your little pot of three waxes, which is branded with crystal art on it. Two of your little pen grip squishes, and then we get a two trays. Oh, is one of them broke? Oh, look, the tray's broken. I've never had that before. We've got a little white tray, unfortunately, it's got a bit chipped out of it. That's a shame. You get about 20 of the grip seal bags, which usually, even in the old kit, you used to get 20 bags, so that's quite mm, okay. And then you get two of your crystal art pens, which is the purple writing on the lovely white. Still the three placer and the single placer. And then you get a little flat bottom boat with a spout as well. So these are a lot better little kits. And um, that's a shame that that's got broken. It must have uh, got squished a bit too hard, that one. So we'll have to put all those back in there for now. Okay, let's have a look at these. Oh, that's your chain. Uh, they do just do the plain chains as well. That's something that I'd quite like. If it was a little bit better chain, uh, sometimes you get them that are a little bit fancier. Oh, and this one hasn't even got the jump rings on it, look. So, yeah, the jump, jump rings have come separate on this one. So you've got to put them on yourself. I suppose it's if you don't want to use them. Uh, but, yeah, it's just a very plain sort of curb chain, this one, rather than... Uh, being fancy it really doesn't look strong enough does it to hold the uh, um the project because that is quite heavy but anyway let's just measure how long that is but what have we got there oh that looks like that's a piece of plastic oh it's maybe come out of uh, that must have come out of the christmas tree sometimes you get the bits of plastic that uh, have dropped out the slots, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at this one. 
so it's roughly uh, 16 inches which is about 41 centimeters long of the chain so yeah it's a good size if you want to make it smaller obviously you can just tie a knot in the top and just make it that bit smaller or put the rings um, a bit further down okay right Let's have a look at these are special drills I can get into. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we've got some of the large rounds again, which aren't faceted. Oh no, they are faceted, excuse me. Uh, we've got one little black, I presume that's for the Robin's Eye, number four. Yeah, that's for the robin's eye, so I mustn't lose that because we've only got one. Okay. And it's a mixture of your resin drills and your uh, crystal drills as well, this one. So we've got two sort of lilac -y purples, a nice bright yellow, uh, an orangey red, and then like a very deep peach and a paler peach. And the chestnut browns in three different shades. The craft buddy do do the shading really well. You never just get one or two colours, they always seem to put the three so you get that extra bit. It makes it a bit more 3D. Can't really see those. That's a very cherry red um, next to a very deep red. And orange and a nice bright sunny yellow. And a blue and a pale blue. And like a stone colour and a dark brown. And um, that's like that JD greeny bright blue colour again, brown. <laughs> My brain's gone pink and another sort of JD green colour. And a nice white there, might I substitute that for AB white, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's just on the. Yeah, it's on the bell there at the top. Oh no, we've got it on the robin as well, so white's on the candy cane. It's on the bell and it's on the robin. I think definitely on the candy cane and the bell, I'll uh, substitute those out to be A, B. So they've got the coating on them, the iridescent coating. We've got your gold and then we've got three greens. So we've got that fresh green, a bit deeper and then like a more bluey green at the end. So yeah, only two specials. Um, well, I mean, we won't have a spare one of that one anyway. But yeah, they've started doing their own little bags look as well with crystal art on which I'm keeping all these. <laughs> Tell you, I'm just a hoarder, what can I say? Right, so, loving those. Let me just get that put away. Right, make sure I put those in. So I've only got one of the Robin's Eye. I don't want to lose that one. Turn those up. Um, now then, that hasn't got code number on it anywhere so you really do need to keep these sort of like in the box together and um, actually if I put that little picture in and I'll put the little chain in with the drills as well and then it won't go missing and I'll know that those drills belong to that project. Good idea Liz, I'll move the leaf, look that can just go in the recycling. Oh, let's give this a quick measure as well. We didn't give it a measure. So let's have a look from the widest point, which looks about there. Yeah, it's roughly 12 inches, about 30 centimetres to the widest point. I think it'll be about the same this way. About 20, 29 centimetres. So yeah, it's a roughly 30 by 30, 12 inch by 12 inch sort of project. So it's a nice size. That's really strange. I'm just putting me a luminous yellow on there. How odd. I must have just caught in the dye as they've been doing it. But yes, so uh, this one I will really look forward to doing. And as so I will probably use it as a Christmas card for my mum and dad. There's plenty of space here um, so that I can put like a nice little verse or something on the back as well. So, but yeah, and then it hangs up by its little chain. Okay, well... 
that's quite a, a nice little haul from craft buddy as i say um it was the spend 50 pound to get the freebie so then when things like that happen all i do is just stock up on my staples you know your sealer that you need just prove there is two in this box look <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. We've got our little buildable scene and our little basket there, Christmas basket. And as I said, I will uh, try and do a video so I can show you the difference between drilling on one that's um, got the code on the back or the uh, pattern, as it were, on the back of the canvas and one that's got the pattern on the front of the canvas it does make a difference and then i got my free gift which is my wonderful 30 bottle storage and then i've got my staples which are my craft buddy crystal art sealer and the new uh, shimmer sealer yay okay well if you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below if you want to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when i post any videos so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now